It's an election that will decide our next city leaders and it is happening in just eight days. Over the next week, we are taking a closer look at the races. Up tonight, the District 3 City Council race. The candidates, incumbent Rebecca Villagran and her challenger, Liz Campos, who ran for the seat in 2011. You, our viewers, submitted questions online that you wanted these candidates to answer. Our Sarah Acosta with their responses tonight. District 3 is the largest city council district in the city. Rebecca Villagran has been representing the South Side District since 2013. The former city council aide is running for her fourth and final term. Her opponent, Liz Campos, was a paralegal for 29 years and currently owns her own business. She ran for the seat in 2011. Our viewers wanted to know what they would do to increase police patrols in the area. Villagran says she's been fighting for a police substation in the district for some time. I'm so excited that more neighborhood associations are coming on board to make our issue to the mayor and the city manager that we need a police substation in District 3. Campbell says she doesn't understand why it's been a delayed process getting a substation. She wants to find the research of the crime numbers for the area. I want to do whatever I can to get down to the bottom of those numbers and, and figure out um, what exactly the crime rate is in District 3 because we definitely need a substation. People living in District 3 say there is a growing homeless issue on the Southeast military. Villagran says she created a homeless encampment outreach program for District 3 last year which includes a variety of organizations working together. It's a complex issue because it has to do with um, mental health. It has to do with maybe some drug addi addiction as well, but we're trying to look at it in a holistic manner. Campos agrees with the initiative already taken, saying it's an issue that she will continue to see through. I think the initiative has to be consistent and it has to be effective and it has to be a, a strong uh, initiative to get to get these people you know, taken care of. All right, Sarah, joining us live now, your conversation with the candidates didn't end there. So what else did they say they want to focus on if they're elected? Well, Campbell said if she's elected, she wants to get back to the basics. She wants to focus on things like infrastructure, tax reform and accountability. Via Gran says one of her biggest priorities is focusing on tax reform, Myra. All right, that election in just eight days. Thanks, Sarah. For all your election day resources, just head to our website. We have a sample ballot there, information about the candidates and a list of what to bring to the polling site. It's all on ksat.com politics.